Hi, my name is Alain Pichon and today I'll be showing you a demo on how I created the red wig worn by Evergreen for the new Dumbo movie. Thank you, enjoy. First, to fit the wig properly onto the head block, making sure it is positioned at same height on either side. Then check the front hairline height to allow the right proportion of hair on the top and the back of the head. Straight after, clearing away all hair to reveal the lace around the front hairline using small setting clips, making sure to keep the lace very flat to the head. So you know, to be able to glue the lace onto the skin, every single hair has to be moved away from the front hairline. Next, I use a narrow ribbon to fix the front lace all the way around the hairline. Then I use small head pins onto both the ribbon and the lace. That way, the lace will not rip or break and the wig will not move during the setting and styling stages. It is important to take your time checking each pin is set deep inside the ribbon. Take away all the clips but keep them at proximity. I am applying 60% water and 40% strong gel to allow flexibility in the hair. I'm brushing the hair down in natural movement, starting from the crown, spread evenly around the front hairline. Now I recommend starting the first setting section, from the front hairline right next to the top parting. After the first gel application, I will start shaping my first section. Here, as principle, I always redo my first section, as they allow me to get into a pre-start of my work. This is the first section, it's where the whole hairstyle will evolve because it is positioned right above the eye which makes this piece more important as it will be seen so prominently. The second and third section of hair is repeated with a variation of triangular or elongated sections. Using tail comb and scooping gel from the hand and applying evenly from the roots till the end. Then combing the hair to reveal the natural wave and twirling up to the loop end, all fixed thoroughly with a small setting clips. Each section of hair shall influence the know-how should be styled and where the next section should be positioned. This is basic wave and kiss curl setting techniques. It should be fixed on the hairline, as you can see now. Going into the nape area, the technique is the same, which consistency on the same amount of product application and focusing on fixing each section in the same manner. It is very important that each section has to be evolving with the section next to it, that each can also be waving and looping against each other. The secret of these setting techniques is consistency with product application and fluidity as it should come naturally to understand where the next section is waving and twirling into the shape. Now again, do not neglect redoing the section if you are not happy with it, as it will make a huge difference when it comes to styling once the hair is dry. Now coming around the front to finish next to the first section we started with, then again another important section that I am creating is one longer, longer undulation set next to the eye. Now, connecting top section, same technique, only different, it is positioning, which has to be between the lower section to cover the open parting. That way, it will be easy to style the hair, giving consistency to the shape and movement. And there is more length from the top area, I suggest to create shape of eight to make sure you use the length. Once finishing, check every section again to make sure they all work together into one hairstyle. I have let the hair dry naturally in the sun. Hair dryer is good too. Just make sure the hair is cold when you start brushing the setting. Here I am starting second stage of brushing the setting before fitting the wig onto the model's head. That way it will help getting rid of any hardness created from the gel and see how the hair responded to the setting. Remember now how at this stage the fixing of the wig is imperative to the success of the hairstyle. Using Mason Pearson's brush, start from the back so to see how the hair is taken into the new shape, brushing each section of hair thoroughly and repositioning each section using clips if needed. And start looking for 
for the shape coming together into a dry hair composition. It is now time to take the pin and fixation and ribbon slowly away from the lace. Next, wrap the hair in this speedy demo on how to prepare the hair flat onto the head before fixing the wig. Here, with a very long hair, start with ponytail, twist braid loosely gripped onto the back of the head, stretch tight of the head now and secure with flat clips and strong hairspray. And fix the wig using flat glue on the front and hair grips on the back. Phew, that was speedy now. Can relax and speak normally for the rest of this demo. Hi everyone, I'm just fitted the wig right now. Uh, you saw how I pre <coughs> wrap the hair so we can see exactly how you know make the smallest head as possible here we have quite a small wig but i just decided to concentrate on the front area the back area is still a little bit of a gap but i've got enough length to cover it up all around the hairline so i'm going to show you once i've set it i've brushed the hair make sure that each section is well brushed right from the roots till the ends and eventually i'm going to start you know dressing the hair within within the shape i've got you know fairly good idea of what we did last time so i'm just going to try to repeat not very close, but as, as close as possible would be really fair. On this situation, we have to know what happens or where to start. I think that's what influenced the whole work. Once you start an area, I, I do believe that it influences you to go to the next area, next to it, and then you finish off doing the whole hairstyle. Whatever you believe is going to work, I believe the front, for example, that piece could work for me really well. So I'm going to start with that one, I can always come back to it and then shape it, make it exactly how I want it to be within you know, the effectiveness of framing the face and shaping each section within it and then eventually go into the next one, okay? As far as understanding what the setting was made for, so the way you apply the hair before wet a little bit of gel again and know how it can be shaped within very specific area very specific shape i will start and apply a little touch of spray and apply a clip a clip will help me just to really visualize and see exactly where each section should be i'm going to frame it around the face next section next to it same kind of approach, brush the hair, see how the section is moving within the shape of what we want to create. Brush first, then with the comb, and see how it applies itself again, creating little waves, little kiss curls all around the face. Touch of spray, do you want to put your mask on? Look at that, it's good, isn't it? So, Lisa would be very happy I me mean, not to touch her makeup. You can travel in space, kind of matter for a bit. Of. Okay, as you can see, the shape has to be very defined, and you can create the precision by applying all these little clips around. I'm leaving the top section, so I'm going to do it after, concentrating on all the hairline first. <clears throat> and then you can apply the rest over the top, which is easier to achieve. I always have in mind the reference of the hairstyle, knowing where each section goes, but also knowing where it can reflect within what the section is doing from the setting I've created. It doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, it's just the inspiration within the style that plays really well within the setting aspect of it. Little curls, little twirls, and then we clip. I'm gonna change my angle, so you can see a little bit more here, how the definition comes into, from the roots, creating the wave that we've set, it, set before, and how it applies around. Once you know what you're doing, you know, you've gotta get on with it. I really think that you can't spend too much time at it, it's very important to know what works, what doesn't work, what doesn't work within the style. And as far as creating the exact shape, 
you want to be again reference from pictures reference from from um, photos that you you reached before when I mean, you found before but um, see how the definition works within it Oh, I'm not too happy with this one but the little trick is to put a little spray on it let it smooth within with your hand give it a little bit more definition and then you can really finish off very quickly with the right amount of definition around the face again just we want is that movement the movement of a wave which finishes off with a kiss curl kind of an eff effect. There's another one next to it. We could apply it to it, which would make easier or more defined. Because this kind of hairstyles, I mean, you got to understand that they do work, but they can't be too, too busy. I think definition of each section, the thicker the section is, the better it is in some, uh, some areas. If you make too many small ones, that's where it just restrict the fact of, you know, from close up, it looks too busy. From far away, you can't see really the, the shape. So you've got to know exactly how it values itself. Proportions, knowing the movements, and knowing how each section works within it. A little spray touch of clips you're kind of resetting the hair within the position the new position but you know knowing that it works from the previous to the next section all of all the way through okay the back of the hair turn around a touch more in that way back of the hair you need a little bit more length to cover the hairline as the wig was a little smaller so back on the section give it a little bit more thickness a little bit more width and then eventually create the same element of definition within the base of the curve. A little spray and the clip. Going to the neck. I mean, at, at the base of it, this uh, wig is, is, is a bob. It's a bob shape with the length on the sides, with a fringe and a, a long layer. As far as knowing how it um how it um, plays with with this new shape that we want to create by putting a setting and, and curls and waves into it i think it, it's perfect because you don't want the hair to be too long to have too much twirls and too much elements of not knowing what to do with the length so here you know once you get create one two waves it's enough just to finish off with a low twirls into it and th that's all we're asking for. Pushing the hair away. I'm now got working on the nape area. See, the roots is still not brushed enough, so I'm just going to brush it a little more. Try not to touch the section next to it. And just to soften it up. It's like a really soft touch of um, back coming with the brush. And then you see the the shape is there, it's creating itself. Just a little more definition on the ends. And apply the hair, maybe a touch of spray underneath. So you can apply the hair tight on the neck, tight on the nape, so it works with the hairline and cover all the hair up. Turn around a touch more. Put a, a grip. To hold the, the wig. I'm going to re put it again. Best ones are the small ones. This one's slightly too big. So tiny one like this work really well. And don't be afraid to make sure you have some of the hair underneath or on the hair and the wig and push it in. Just setting it into that area. Um, Try to be as technical as possible. You know, once you know the technique, once you know what you're doing, you have to repeat it. But 
it's true that each section does have its own place because you know they're disposed in a different areas so let it do its own thing and understand that once you apply it it has enough definitions it's clean enough don't ask for too much more you can always come back to it after so you can see this area this is an element which can happen quite a lot within wigs and it's hard to find the right wig which is going to fit the right hair if the hair has too much hair compared to a short haircut you've got to hide it so it lifts this up or the hairline it can be a problem but don't make it too much of a fuss again use the hair as long as you've got enough of it and cover it up with it all you need is enough thickness to hide hide that area here i've got enough thickness the color's good i'm happy with the setting so it does make a difference as far as little back comb if you want again to uh, thicken it up touch your spray clean it up with your fingers a little bit more and then see how the shape is evolving within it because every time it's similar it's just how it's gonna fit into the shape to make it real you don't want it to be again too 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 wiggy or too setty or super clean and no hair comes out i believe that you know there is a, a fine line between all of these elements and we have to make sure it, it works within the style um you know if, if it's if it's uh, for a movie as we did for dumbo you know being very aware of who's gonna wear it what are the clothes and most importantly the makeup because it's the face and that's what framing the face around it and eventually knowing what it takes to you know finish a look properly and know exactly what works and doesn't work see the setting works the curl works on its own if you've got a good base you don't have much work to do it should come out automatically here I'm happy not make it too much for myself I never do that just make it easy for myself most of the time and then finish off all around the face so I'm all the way around just want to be aware there was one little piece that was coming out which was one of the reference I will see how that comes out within the shape of what I created within the setting again Coming it through, not being afraid to go all the way through, right from the roots to the ends, and then seeing how that shape works to create that little curl that I wanted to do here. Okay, so it's just a little distinction of what it can be done with it. A little spray, very important. Stick another clip, put it at the right area so it's not gonna move. And here it is okay so it just had the right definition within it last one around the face same principle making sure that you cover all the underneath so each section really works in full capacity I know exactly what it takes to make it you know a sweet little sweet little shape within it and I don't have any more clips so I'll take this one and I might want some more clips if somebody wants to go and get them for me over there that would be awesome all right so I've done all the way around as you can see and within the shape itself, I'd say I need a little lower here so I can push it down. And then I've got to make sure I'm covering all the rest around it properly. Eventually, start from the back, each section by section that you've created before within the setting aspect of it and working little back combing 
and not being afraid to retract, retract the section, not letting it drop down, but retract it so you you are still working within the definition of all this, all this, um, thank you, all these sections. A little spray, tell me if it's good spray on the back so it sticks to the, to the section a little bit more. A little setting elements with the clip, make sure it's enough of a shaping within it. Top ones, you've got to be aware, covering the underneath, really important. But as soon as you use these top sections, you've got to thicken it up and make them a little bit wider. The reason is to, you know, cover the surface somehow, you know, try not to see what's underneath and then create that section that works within it. So I'm leaving it wide as it is, seeing how it's creating the shape and even the ends, try to create a wider element to it. Don't be afraid, if it's not right, you've got to work it, work it a little bit more. Same old, back combing, little spray, little brushing, and then see your, your section's already thicker, and just play it and place it. All right, so eventually you go all the way around, nearly there, sorry for a little slow. And then same technique all the way around and applying. So here, see the air, yeah, we want to cover that. So we've just got enough hair, back combing it, little spray. It's like cooking. Just put a little bit of salt, a little bit of, a little bit of pepper, garlic, it's good. But you're repeating the thing every time, Morris, and you know exactly where it shows and it works. Right, done the back. Now, carrying on with the top, but always being aware of where is the definition, where does it come down to, what really suits and doesn't suit. So I'd go back to the front now. This is my top section on the front. This is going to cover a little bit more of the sides. I want to be aware. For the movie, Eva had a headpiece, which, you know, I could not use too many hair on this area, so utilize it around it, which was easier. Today, we don't have such a, a piece, but it's, it's, again, as important and more important to create the whole hairstyle as what it should be, and then play with it as you want after. You know, it's also easy to create a little more 3D, three, di three dimension, bring out the, the wave, give it a little bit more volume and uh, shape. Top area. Don't want to create too much volume. That's what I liked about this shape originally. It, I want to create something which was automatically um, a, a, a volume piece of 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 of, um, of wig. Uh, by making it tighter, not too tight again, but tighter to the head, I think it make, made it a little bit more modern, and it had the effectiveness for oh, again the twentieth, which was relating to the waves, the kiss girls, all of, all of these elements, which were you know. Within, within the nudity of, of the style at the time. All right, leave it the back, come back to the front. This is the two sections on the top. Make sure it's slightly cleaner. So brushing, 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 brushing. Don't be afraid. Go all the way through, a little back combing. Do that thicker section, which to me can cover up a little bit more, but also give a little bit more definition again, which is really important to create the exact shape that you want to build within it. Again, being aware always to cover up, seeing how that section's playing, one section influenced the other, so once I've put the, the previous one, I know how the one next to it's gonna work, 
and where I should be putting it. Maybe extend the curl a little bit more, this one. So we go the other way. Again, without being too, too fussy, we apply it. We make it work within two last sections. Hey, you could say that it's, it's, it's the old days, granny's hairstyle kind of thing. But once you put it on red hair, once you put the right element of makeup, that's how you totally revamp the style within it. The secret is the clipping. You know, you need small, tiny clips like this. So you can put them everywhere and you handle and you hold the situation and the shape really easy. Come back to the front, you know where that section is going to go, create full definition up till the end, touch your spray, use your fingers, create the shape, clip, just being aware that it should stay a little bit more against the face, but again I don't want to do too much at this level, looks cute as it is and I'm really happy with it. It's always to know the next stage, next stage with Lisa doing the makeup and again creating a little, a lot more definition to the whole look because well I always say I can't do that makeup artist and makeup artists can't do that me so we that, that collaboration is essential to create create this really uh, fantasy and I mean fun kind of look at the end of the day it does it does make a little bit more um, creativity within our work <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna leave the clip on and I mean as easy as it is so if we spray all over and then take off the clips we don't need to touch anything else just make sure when you can take off the clips you hold the base and you take them out so it doesn't come out you understand clean fingers so it doesn't stick to the hair and leave it as it is I wouldn't touch it that much more Again, working within the angles, we've got a 10 o'clock. No, that's 1 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. Okay, you can see it going around. This one's slightly putting out. I should put it down a touch more, being aware of all of this. And then to finish with slightly stronger, can you put that on? Slightly stronger spray. And don't be afraid, put it everywhere. Once you put it, just work your fingers into the waves, cleaning it up. And then any long hair, just put them out. Ta-da!